my name is Achim Rode. Um, I'm a Middle East historian uh, working at the Philips Universität Marburg near Frankfurt. And um, as one of the conveners of this conference on Jews and Muslim majorities, societies, history and prospects, obviously um, this is one of the fields um, that I'm interested in in my research. Um, my, most of my um, past research has focused on uh, state-society relations on different levels in Iraq and Israel-Palestine. Um, but my current um, research project is rather closely related to the topic of this conference. I'm um, working on the transformation of Tunisia in the post-revolutionary context after 2011, specifically focusing on the visibility of the margins of society, which say minorities, in other words. Um, including the Jews, and my specific focus is on the, the use of Jews as kind of a metaphor um, in this transformative process in Tunisian public culture, um, including a, a, an increased visibility and an increased interest in Jewish topics and the history of, the, uh, of Tunisian Jewry, their contribution to the history of the country, etc. Well, this particular uh, topic uh, regarding Tunisian Jews uh, or the discourse thereon developed, um, it, it's more or less tied to my biographic experience uh, of living in Israel and experiencing the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. I lived in the West Bank as well for a while. Um, and the um, impression that uh, on both sides of this divide, there were uh, quite homogenizing, very nationalist discourses and narratives um, that uh, pasted over the existing diversity uh, of those societies and also over the diversity in, in, in the ruptures and the fragmentations in the history of those countries that were presented rather homogenizingly as uh, yani evolving nations uh, in a very ethno-nationalist sense. So the um, issue of discourses on Middle Eastern Jewry um, and their particular histories in countries like Tunisia and elsewhere, as we've seen in this conference as well, um, are a vehicle for me and or for many of our colleagues who are uh, presenting in the conference um, that there might be something beyond this uh, binary divide um, of competing nationalisms and the history of uh, Jews in Middle Eastern societies in a way is a, a neglected focus in, has been a neglected focus in research uh, for a long time and it has been picking up in recent years to be sure. Um, that's one motivation and the other motivation is I guess um, this kind of looking for ways to overcome homogenizing discourses that are so prevalent in the Middle East, uh, both in the post-colonial Arab nation states as well as in Israel. Well, I guess if we're um, talking about Europe, I mean, Europe is a meeting point for um, uh, new immigrants, new arrivals in recent years. Um, I um, sometimes like to talk about the Aliyah of 2015 um, from Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan and other countries to uh, Germany mostly and other European countries. Um, that actually creates new spaces of or, or increases, um, enlarges the, the, the spaces of interaction between um, Jews, be they of Mizrahi origin who migrated to Europe in the 50s, 60s and afterwards, or um, you know, remnants of Ashkenazi communities that existed here before us. Um, this whole issue relates to the way we um, live in Europe today. So there's a very immediate, I think, um, political uh, context of um, of this conference, why we think it is important. In a political context that the Yasmin Schumann and me, like as conveners and the other organizers of this conference, are very conscious about, as are many of our participants. 
has emerged from most of the uh, presentations hitherto in our conference. Um, the tendon, there is a certain tendency to see a mixed kind of relationship um, um, that includes also, you know, light as well as uh, shadow. Um, a uh, long established relationship over centuries and sometimes millennia that of course evolved greatly and I can't really summarize this in two sentences here uh, over the over the course of time if we look at the um, early 20th century and the area of evolving nation states and the colonial area to just pick out one particular um, focus in our conference then uh, in most Middle Eastern countries there was a certain period where the Jewish communities started to open up and to um, be rather um, integrated or acculturated into the evolving um, Arab national culture of each particular uh, country um, to varying degrees in countries such as uh, Iraq or Morocco or um, also other countries, um, Jews contributed a great deal to the evolving, you know, national culture in in, in the economy, uh, in literature, in films, in music. Very important. Um, and this kind of space of interaction, I wouldn't call it convivencia because that sounds a bit too romanticizing. Um, but this period of um, well. It has been called the Levantine um, moment in Middle Eastern history where some kind of uh, diversity uh, existed and was lived in a very you know, active way and is something that naturally belonged to uh, those societies. Mm, this got destroyed um, and you have to be blunt as an effect of uh, the uh, first Israeli Arab war in the Palestinian Nakba, which was kind of a watershed moment uh, for all the countries in the Middle East, not only Israel Palestine, um, which triggered more or less the um, you know forest migration expulsion or you know these push and pull factors that um, led to the emigration of most um, Jews who formerly lived in countries of the Middle East towards Israel or towards Europe and the States and elsewhere.